What? Where? Hey! I is that me? Is that me that that jerk face is dragging? So... That... That must mean... I'm... Dead. He... Killed me. To get to the person of my dreams. He killed me. Well, I guess he's gone. <sighs> okay. Let me... I don't know. Assess the situation? First... I... I suppose I should look... at my hands. It isn't that scary. Just lift up your hands and look at them. I mean, come on. You're already dead. What is the worst that can happen? Yeah? I suppose I could snap from shock and spend the rest of eternity as a mad ghost haunting this place. Thank you, Anxiety. I'm glad to see I still have you as a constant companion, even after death. Okay. Just... lift and... Oh. seconds. I'll give myself... ten seconds. <laughs> okay. Okay. granted the strength to change things, and the strength to accept things which I cannot. Let me... just... figure out this new existence. I cannot rub my eyes. Do... do I even have eyes? How can I perceive things? Wow. Is this what it's like being born? You know, very Dark Souls-ish? Thrust into a world you have little knowledge of, struggling for purpose. Hmm. Wait. I got plenty of time to get philosophical. I should focus. Focus on... Moving. Can I move? How? Can I leave this house? I... I really have no idea how this works. What rules govern me? Do I float like in creative Minecraft? Can I interact with physical objects? Hmm. Well... Time to start experimenting. 
No. I cannot... Touch? Touch. I cannot touch things. At least, not like I'm used to. I wonder, I'm... Hmm. Can I focus my energies to... Oh, wow! That thing just flew across the room. Good. Maybe... Maybe I can use this. Maybe I can get both my lover and my murderer. Let me just see if I can move. Okay, right. No legs. No friction. Okay. Then I have to learn how to move all over again. This is going to take a while, isn't it? such a wonderful funeral for me. Thank you. Um, you're doing very well in controlling your surprise. I'm impressed. Okay. So, I was murdered by the guy sitting next to you. That jerk face took me from you and you from me. I've been playing with my new existence lately. I've found I can control certain things with my, um, energy? Anyway, um, it's always short-lived. But we can still be together. I just need you to help me. My sweet, I don't have a body anymore. The casket walking by is all that's left of my physical remains. But, with your help, perhaps we could find a way for me to take permanent control of that jerk face's body. You will? Thank you, my sweet. Our love will never end. Not even death can stand in our way. It can only delay a little while. Strange, I know you didn't speak, but I still hear your words. I'll meet you tonight. Invite him over. Make him sleepy. I'll pop in then.
Or will you just shut up? Yeah. Me. You suck to keep me from my sweet. Look at you now. Thanks to you, I'm more powerful than you can imagine. No, I'm not one of the four. <laughs> Listen. The universe is full of energy and information. Well, I found that without my mortal shell, I have a way to manipulate the energies around me. I can make sounds. I can move things. I can... manifest visibly. But the one thing I cannot do is hug my sweet. You thought you'd take them from me. Manipulate them into loving you. Yet, here you are, all trussed up to be my meat puppet. Okay, my sweet. I sense the energies are gathering. The moon is right. It is All Hallows Eve, when the spirits and supernaturally inclined are given lease to walk the world of the humans. Please begin the ritual. Then, our eternal love can resume. His body feels weird. Ugh. Thank you, my sweet. Now I can be with you until the day you can be. <laughs>